Yes, just like I mentioned in the title, these two laser projectors have successfully replaced two of my televisions in my household. This is the Capsule 3, and this is the Transformer Edition, which this is one out of 4,000 that's going to be produced. Super limited. And this right next to it is the Cosmos. Just this one has an internal built-in battery that can last up to two and a half hours. Plenty of juice to make it through one movie. It is. It does have some good weight to it, but it's still pretty light that I could easily toss it in the air, which is not recommended. But just give you an idea how portable this device is. Traveling on the go, if you need a projector on the go, this projector can easily do it. As it has a screen focus that can go anywhere between 40 to 120 inches. And in terms of I.O. ports, you do have one aux cable, a full HDMI, a USB-C, and I've actually have successfully plugged this into gaming consoles like a Nintendo Switch and etc. Yeah, no HDMI mini, full HDMI. But joined with the capsule laser is Nebulous Beefy 4K Laser Projector, the Cosmos 4K. Even though it doesn't have a built-in rechargeable battery like the capsule does, bringing this thing around kind of feels like a small cooler because it actually has a nice handle right here, which actually has some nice groovy material. And I've actually spent a couple hours watching, playing games on both of these devices. My experience using these laser projectors was really good because it was much brighter than some of my flat screen TVs that I have, so which is why it easily replaced both of them so let's start off with the pros of the laser projector talking about the capsule 3. now this is their transformer edition and it's using the latest os android tv os and the lumens is rated at 300 a and si it has an 8 watt speaker with support with dolly digital plus and has a resolution of full 1080p it does have built-in Bluetooth 5 and has a unique mode that allows you to actually use this as a portable speaker. And with a full charge, the portable speaker by itself can last up to 10 hours. And it does get pretty loud. The box capsule design is fairly small. And on the bottom here, you find some high quality materials as you do have grip pads down here as well, including a thread right here if you like to mount it to a tripod. But if you look closely, this little icon right on Optimus Prime's mouth is a camera because this thing will automatically adapt and autofocus to whatever wall that you place it on and even can do some odd angles. Yes, it has auto key focus for the auto keystone correction and it utilizes that camera to see this display to automatically adjust itself and it works extremely well. So the pros going with laser over LEDs. One, it's brighter. Laser is also able to provide better color. It draws less power, which is why this is able to last up to two and a half hours. And it's portable. So there's a lot of pros with lasers over LED. And this being 1.8 times brighter than LED makes viewing this even in broad daylight pleasant. Most of the time, I don't even find myself having to max the brightness if I'm watching something in broad daylight. Now, the design actually is made out of high quality materials, and I really do like the uh, attention to detail with the red lines right here. And it also has touch sensors on the very top right here, which do illuminate. You do have access to a remote. If the remote's too much or you misplaced it, don't worry. You can actually still control this thing wirelessly because there is support for an app. Nebula has an app that allows you to control not just the capsule, but also the, the Cosmos as well. And the controls, you have all the important control on the app UI, and it's super easy to use, especially when it comes to first time pairing and keeps your products organized in case you have more of these. You can have them all connected at once, and it's super easy to switch between one over the other. But that's the Capsule 3 in a nutshell. Let's go ahead and talk about the behemoth, and that is Nebula's Cosmos. So this gets its power by a regular cord that you see back here. And the I.O. ports that it has is one full HDMI, a USB-A, and an aux cable. But this thing actually has some really loud speakers of its own, so it's not always necessary to have it plug into an external audio source. As this does also support Dolby Audio, which easily does fill up a room nicely. Also has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, just like the Capsule 3. As this actually has a lumen rating that's 1840. And don't worry, if you look at this thing directly in the eye, there's a safety feature where it will utilize its cameras to automatically dim down so it doesn't fry your retina. So it has nice safety features right there. I'm being sarcastic about the retina part, but I don't recommend staring at it. And just like the Nebula Capsule 3, it also has auto focus as well as auto 
Keystone Corrections, as it also has external cameras that monitor the image quality and make sure it's always sharp. And yeah, it does a really good job on adapting. But thanks to its brightness, it's able to actually support HDR10. So when it comes to watching movies, the color accuracy and the overall image is super pleasant. Now back here, this does have Android 10. And you do have the freedom to upgrade this because this back portion over here will pop out exposing what looks like a Chromecast type of thing. But this is nebulous version because in here, this is the device that basically controls your like entertainment apps. So it has like Netflix and stuff like that. All your popular favorite movie streaming services are all available. And if there's a new version, you can just swap this instead of having to replace or purchase a new laser projector from Nebula. And although this one doesn't have a built-in battery, it still is extremely portable to easily take around on your travel, especially if you go to like campgrounds and such. Traveling with this and projecting this like on the side of an RV or something like that allows you to actually have a movie feeder on the go. And yes, just like the capsule, you do have threads right here so you can actually have it mounted to a tripod if you wish. And it does also come with a remote. And if you lose this, again, you have the app but you do have buttons up here that do illuminate and you can turn on and off from here as well. And one awesome thing is about having a laser projector as laser is easily able to last longer than LED projectors. Because in case you weren't aware, LED projectors typically lose lumens brightness over like a duration of three years. Lasers, you don't have to worry about the, that. These two will maintain their laser brightness throughout her entire lifespan. And I've actually used this one to play some PC games as well, like Battlefield with my friends. And I was actually really surprised how clear everything was. Everything from like the small explosions, stuff like that. So if you enjoy playing like high intense, modern day graphic demanding game, there's no complaint in terms of losing quality or anything like that with these two laser projectors that we have right here on the table. But the capsule still wows me due to the fact that it's just so portable. It's way better than carrying around a smart speaker because this can do smart speaker stuff and can also display a nice film. So there you guys have it. That is these two amazing laser projectors available on the market right now. Uh, Nebula, Anchor, man, you guys really knocked it out of the park. This is my first time ever using a projector. I used, well, I actually have used projector in the past, the very old fashioned one with the light bulb. And then I was about to pull the trigger on LED ones, but I mean, like, I didn't like the idea that uh, during, like, after the first few years, they're gonna lose their brightness. Uh, laser projector is easily the way to go if you want a long lasting projector that will continue having the same image quality that it did since day one. These two are definitely worth it. Uh, the portable one though, the Capsule 3, man, this thing is just super fun. Like I could literally leave this on my desk and it doesn't even look like it's out of the ordinary. Once you take a closer look at it, it's like, it's pretty, it looks awesome. It, you know what it is. It's a projector. And then this thing <laughs> still somehow managed to be extremely portable and fun to travel with. Yeah, at least there's a way to go. Aside from that, there you guys have it. That is my review with both of these two laser projectors. I'll be sure to include the links where you go ahead and find them in the video description down below. Because for the month of April, during the time of the release of this video, Nebula is actually running two deals right now for both of these two amazing projectors. Because the Transformer version of the Capsule 3 is actually on sale for $120 off if you use the link in the video description down below. And the Cosmos 4K is currently $300 off. But if you enter this coupon code upon checkout, you will save an additional $100, saving you about $400 in saving. And don't worry, even though the Transformer is a limited edition run, if you missed that one, the regular version also is still available and also is on sale. But yeah, leave a comment below. What do you think about these two products and which one are you likely to get? The Capsule 3 or the Cosmo? I'd like to hear your feedback as well. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.